Wait. Uh, no, wait, we have four more patches because there are two more yeah. characters after that. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. There are two more I mean, characters coming after Banjo. Yeah. When <laughs> they're going to give Isabel the Ken treatment, dude. They're going to make everything broken. Oh, my God. The Ken treatment. <laughs> Ken got so buffed. He was so bad before, and now he's so good. All right. Yeah, and I do know that T2s does have a Meta Knight as well, so... Yet other again. theme matchup. Yeah, other theme. Yeah, would say the hero and the villain. Yeah. We're going for the anti-hero and the villain matchup. Yeah, and I'm sure this is a much better matchup for Meta Knight than Kirby, at least on paper. Right. You know, at least using like a, a sword hitbox and kind of like challenge DDD's moves. Yeah, and having just the speed to combat him. Ooh, I like all these ledge plays from Chazo, and I'll be like, ha, 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 you dare try to ledge guard me? No. I'm what is Chazo doing? Uh, Chazo just likes to do this. Like, he did, he's done it before against me, so I know personally. Like he likes to just charge that, and then like hope people come in. Uh, but he's taking damage from it. So like if they just decide to sit back, there's not much that he can really do with it. Right. Especially with Meta Knight, who has so many jumps to get away from stuff, even if he tries to approach with it. Right. Definitely, I, I would see that being like, oh my God, why did you die, Meta Knight? Like why did you die to that? Yeah, that was very suspect. And again, as I was trying to say earlier, you know, I, I could see that being a, as a viable option when you're at like 100%, because at least you don't take more damage doing it, you know? Mm. But yeah, just against a character that has such good evasion, it's weird to do, but Trazo has got the lead right now, so he can play a bit silly if he wants to, honestly. I mean, if you're not getting punished for it, why not? Yeah. Again. And, you know, sometimes the Gordo hitbox in this game is a bit weirder than it was in Smash 4. You know, it's got the spikes part of it has a hitbox, too. So sometimes you just get hit by that, and you're not expecting it. Right. And the other thing is I like, sometimes I like low percent. You can get hit by that Gordo twice. It's so stupid. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a lot better. It's, it's very stealthily better than it was in Smash 4. Right. Plus, it always sticks to walls now. Uh, very important buff for that move. All right, and just uh, T2's having a hard time getting in against the, the basic DDD wall side B neutral B right now. Right. Ooh, but manages to sneak past him with that dimensional cave. You know, I like that. You know, Chazo has been going for a lot of, like, kind of laggy options after the side B. So, you know what? He's going for enough. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I think you can jump before that comes out. There's something you can do. It's either jump or shield. Right. But it is not true, but it's very easy to get caught by. Right. It was like a thing in Brawl, and then it wasn't in Smash 4, and it's back in this game. It's very weird. Right. That came back. Or if you have like a quick like, like frame three, like up B, something like that, like you can get a bit of it. Yeah. All right, but uh, T2 is getting around these uh, these sucks now, so Chazo might have to be a little bit smarter about when he chooses to do that. He's kind of been throwing it out after every uh, every border he's been doing. Right. Uh, and now T2 is kind of caught on to that. But right now he's got a pretty decent lead still, so he can afford to do that a few more times and still like be at least even. And it goes for that and it's not working. Right. I mean, he had the air dodgery, but unfortunately he just did not pull the trigger in time. And even if he tried to roll, <laughs> he couldn't get past the dash attack and gets hit by that Nair off stage. You know what, he brought the stock back and you no, know, it's 71%. It's gonna be hard, but it's definitely doable. Yeah, and especially like on such a comboable character, you know, Meta Knight, uh, not crazy combo-wise in this game, but like against a heavy, like he can definitely do some stuff. Right. Ooh, gets hit by that falling Gordo, gets hit by the second Gordo. Here's the third Gordo, and yes, he's going to just retreat the ledge. Just avoid the Gordo entirely. And, but the problem is, how is he going to get past the, the wall on ledge right now? Oh, don't roll, don't roll. He rolled. Yeah. Yep. I mean, the, the key to that is that, like, if DDD does that, you should always try to get up attack if you have like a good get yeah. up attack option. Like I know, like DK's like Meta Knight's really definitely would hit Meta there. Yeah, yeah, again, because either they're close enough to ledge where get up attack will hit him, or they're far enough from ledge where you can just normal get up and avoid it entirely. Yeah, you know. And if you time your get up attack right, you'll hit the Gordo back too. Yeah, so you'll hit him with the get up attack, then you'll hit the Gordo, and then the Gordo might hit him on the way back. Too. Right, and then that puts you in a super favorable position. Here we go. And yet again, he also has an Incineroar too. So this is going to be interesting to see how he'll use his Incineroar to beat out the Gordo. No, maybe he can use the Gordo as like revenge. revenge yeah. yeah. 
Because Gordo does a lot of damage, and like Revenge does a super good multiplier on it. Right. I mean, it could go all the way up to a, a, a times three multiplier. Yeah, and just like having that plus the amount of knockback you get from that damage multiplier, just all you need is like one good revenge into something, and then that's a stock. Yet again, trying to punish to get up attack option, but not going to really do so successfully. Yet again, I like what he's doing. He's able to, you know, punish the inhale now by going up with the forward air. Yeah, and you can see that, like, Chazo's not really able to throw out these Gordos like he was against the Meta Knight because he has to be scared of revenge. Oh, and you got to realize that that hits below ledge, so you can't just sit on ledge forever hoping he just damages himself. Oh, he right. just hits it back. Yep. And again, I like that, staying in shield, waiting for uh, DDD to come back, and using the Nair to hit the Gordo back, too. Yeah, he realizes that when Chazo's throwing that Gordo, and he's doing it so far away from him, that he's expecting the revenge and ready to punish it. So he's oh. just going for something more basic than normal, your normal character would go for. Right. You know, that's why you have to know your 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 side B hard counter timing, because, oh my god, oh, he yeah. armored through it! <laughs> yeah, that swing does have armor. Yeah. So you do just have to wait it out or grab it. And again, you know, T2, you know, I like that. You know, the, the arms the do lariat. have intangibility on the Lariat. Yeah, this is rough for T2s right now. He's yeah. just not getting any of the things that similar wants to get. That was good in there, though. Uh, still got some life in him. And, oh, oh, there's the dash attack, and the dash attack will kill super early. So, was it 70? Something like that? I mean, he was at 90 after the hit.